Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Jen Joy Plans. Today I am planning the week of June 24th through the 30th, last week of June, and I am using this adorable tropical paradise kit from Lynn Designs. It's clip art kits art and I just love what Lynn did and I also have the matching foil bundle. Lynn has been like just crushing it with matching foil bundles for kits. It's so cute and sometimes it's like a lot for me to like like there's just so many foil options because there's general foil options and then there's like specific foil bundles that go with things but it's great I love all the options um but anyways she came out with this matching one and I was like perfect using this it's adorable and I had to do sparkly orange because love me some orange and then I paired it with matte bronze solid underlays which kind of felt risky I was really struggling because I knew for sure I wanted to use sparkly orange as my main foil color color wow um but I was really struggling with what would be a like color that would complement but not take away um and I was playing around with shades of blue but then I was like let's play off like this tan color that's represented a lot in the art and to kind of make it like sand and I'm really happy with how it came out like really really happy it felt risky when I ordered it online and then when it came in person and I saw it I'm like yep perfect and that's the best feeling because yeah sometimes it can just be risky but I just trusted trusted the process and I am using just a lot of blue foil this summer which I'm not complaining about but I was trying to give this like be a week with no blue foil <laughs> so anyways this week was just a week of full of packing like I didn't put anything in the sidebar I just put four uh full boxes because it was just packing and cleaning and all the last minute stuff so that was pretty much the week I was trying to think if there's anything specific but I think I will just do some questions and we will just go from there all right the first question is flip-flops or bare feet and I don't love flip-flops like I don't love the sound that they make um, so I prefer like Birkenstocks or some slides, like some slides make that like clapping, flapping sound. And I just don't love that. So any shoes that don't make that I am down for, um, like Birkenstocks, I guess. Then the next question is movie time or pool time and definitely pool time and being outside in the sun, in the water. So that would be my vote for sure. Next question is popsicles or snow cone and popsicles. Um, in theory, I want to like snow cones, but I never can figure out the like flavor ratio. And then at the end, it's just like all syrup. And I know that that's like the best part for some people, but it's just, just too much. Um, and then the next question is brats or hamburgers. And I kind of like hot dogs more. I don't love the bun, but I definitely would do a hot dog over a hamburger, which sounds a little childish and maybe, maybe a hot take, but that's where I stand. Next is watermelon or pineapple and watermelon for sure. Um, and then the next question is iced tea or lemonade sorry I'm like going back and forth iced tea or lemonade and I'm a lemonade person but my family is an iced tea family like my mom when we're on vacation at the lake my parents will make a pitcher of like crystal light iced tea every night for dinner and the family just like tanks it but I'm just not an iced tea person um but my mom doesn't do coffee like iced tea is her drink of choice so lemonade long story long lemonade next is beach sunrise or beach sunset 1000 percent sunset and then the next one is listen to music or read a book and up until probably like last year or a year and a half ago i would have said listen to music why would i ever read a book <laughs> but i've matured and now i'm gonna say read a book um although i like both but it kind of depends what mood if i feel like i'm gonna fall asleep then i'll obviously do just music and then 
if I'm, I'm feeling like up to hang, then I'll write a book. Next is bike ride or beach volleyball, and honestly, neither. And I don't like volleyball so much that I think I would choose riding a bike. And if you've been part of my channel and know me, you know I hate riding bikes. Like, I can't. So, I don't. Um, so, that's, like, a bold statement, again, for, like, volleyball. But, yikes. I think I just, like, haven't done it enough, so I'm just not confident. And I'm not a competitive person for most things. There's random things I'm competitive for. But, like, sports, like, casual stuff like that, I am not. And I just feel this, like, unnecessary pressure to be good at something that I've never done before. And then I just, like, get in my head and overthink everything. So, yeah. That's why I would choose bike riding, even though I'm not a confident bike rider. <laughs> okay, the next one, though, is ride on the boat or water ski. Either. Genuinely either. Although, I do wakeboarding, not water ski. Um, but I would do... I, I prefer cruise. Like, cruising on the boat more. Next is paddleboard or kayak. And I love paddleboarding. I just learned or like did kayaking for like the first or second time um last year so I'd be more into it maybe but I really enjoy paddle boarding but that's also what I've known and then the next is swim or sunbathe a sunbathe for sure <laughs> I am like that weird person that I could be out in the sun like all day long I love it Next question is catch flare fireflies or flashlight tag. And I've never played flashlight tag, but that kind of sounds really fun, especially if you're a kid. Um, and I've never caught fireflies. Like, is that a thing? I thought that was just like in a mo in movies or maybe like a, f a phrase. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe probably depends on where you live. So let me know. Have you ever caught a firefly before? Is that like a real thing that people can do? I'm sure it is. I, this probably makes me sound so naive, but I just must live in a place that that doesn't exist. I think you have to like be in a spot though that where you don't have like too much light pollution and I live in a place with too much light pollution. I think that's what it comes down to. I believe. Who knows? I could be just talking out of my butt and this could all be wrong. So let me know in the comment section. Next is barbecue or potluck and mm, that's a hard one. Maybe potluck? I like options and I like a little bit of everything. But barbecue, you can't go wrong with barbecue. Mm, maybe barbecue. Honestly, either. I feel like families either do one or the other. My in-laws, they always do potlucks, like for every family function. So we never do barbecues. I think I was talking about this on my channel a couple years ago with a Carly Plan script that I got. She, I got like something in a grab bag that said cookout and I had never heard of that or used it. So I think it just, again, depends on where you live and like what people say, but like we don't like families that I have, we don't really do barbecues or cookouts. We just do potlucks or like one person does it all. So let me know what does your family do and is there like a preference or are they kind of like the same? All right. I am back a couple days later. I was actually doing that voiceover in the car when I was waiting for my husband to um, get some stuff for our camping trip like citronella candle and whatnot that we had forgotten to pack, but I was just making the most of the road trip, but um, I'm back a few days later, and I don't remember what questions, like kind of where I left off, so I decided to ask um, a question that I've been meaning to ask you all. Does anybody have the Ninja Creamy? I feel like that is like one of the new hot like it kitchen kitchen items and it's super expensive it's like two hundred dollars or maybe more i'm i'm not sure but it's like currently about to be prime days and target week and whatnot which by the time this goes up is probably past that and i've seen them on sale and i just want to know if it's worth it because i see people talking about it but you know it's like influencers and they probably got it for free 
and just like make a video on it, you know, or something like get some sort of kickback. So I just want to know, are there like real people that have that? Because that looks amazing. If you don't know what it is, it's like makes your own little ice cream. I've heard that it's kind of annoying because it's not instant. Like you have to think through it and like make the mix and then put it in your freezer overnight and then you can have ice cream the next day. But I know some people just kind of like operate it like a meal prep and they'll meal like they'll get a couple extra containers and do several and then they can choose whatever flavor they want for that night. So I don't know. Let me know if you have that. I'm not sure if it's too bougie or not. And I think maybe we will try to get like gift cards or something and put it towards that. But it's just been on my mind. So I figured I'd ask the planner community if anybody has one of those or if you know somebody that has it and like knows if it's worth it. But random um we are currently living two weeks out and i'm feeling a little behind um but that's okay that is just all play part of planning um but like i was saying this week was our last well it wasn't our last week we have one more week in um like our current hometown, but this week was just kind of like all the packing and moving. You just like don't realize how much you have to pack and clean and move. Like when you have an area that you've called home for so long and we just have, we just had stuff everywhere. It was like, oh, I forgot about this shelf. Oh, I forgot about this. Like it was just things stuffed, just I don't know. So in some ways it was really good to just like minimize and you know I just got to the point like in my classroom and in my house to just be like I don't care throw it away. I don't care throw it away. And part of that is like oh no like maybe I'll want that or like part you know I donated whatever I could. I didn't just like throw away. But another part of me is like it it was time. It was good. So <laughs> long story long if you've moved then you know I'm sure um, but it just felt like just a really big move. But that is it for this spread. I will come back at the end. I'm just obsessed with how it turned out. Felt like it was risky, but it, like with the matte bronze and the sparkly orange, I just wasn't sure. But in in all, like I'm really glad. And it didn't conflict with any of the colors, which is something I'm trying to do. But I've been feeling, I haven't been like as on it. Like May, I was super on it and really good about that. And some in June, but Lately, I feel like I keep choosing colors or maybe I chose these colors way back is part of the problem. Like I knew that summer would be busy, so I pre-bought summer things way in advance. But yeah, that is kind of the scoop for the week. I love this kit and how it turned out. Let me know if you are using any variation of this um, this art set. I saw that Plana Hannah used this art set and she has a pastel rainbow, I believe. I don't know. I haven't purchased from her shop in a really long time, but I thought that that was really stunning with this art set. So that's cool if you haven't gotten your foil. There's so many foil options. I think a blue or a pink hollow would look really pretty too. I just am an orange glitter girly. I personally love orange, so that's part of it. And any chance I get to do glitter, I'm going to do glitter or hollow. Um, that's just like my preference. But yeah, I don't know. Do, do you all have like a preference foil color? Like if I have the chance to use orange glitter, I'm going to use orange glitter. But do you have that? I feel like Blue Hollow would be my next contender. Like if I'm going to have a chance to use Blue Hollow, I would use Blue Hollow. But let me know. Do you have a do you have a go-to? Maybe a fun foil or a regular foil? Like I know some people are like if if there's a chance to use silver, like I will use silver for everything kind of thing. So, let me know. I would be curious. But hopefully you enjoyed. Sorry, this is a bit rambly. Hopefully when we are more settled, things will get back to normal and I can film some more videos. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. I feel like it's going to end in just a couple minutes. Um, I was really struggling with the box designs to try to like not cover up. But for some reason, those coral... Uh, overlays they were reminding me of like little skeleton hands like grabbing and so I didn't want to use those <laughs> I love this design pack don't get me wrong but for some reason I like had a really hard time using them so I cut them and used them for that kindle page but 
yeah, I was just like overthinking everything per usual. But that is it. And let's catch to the end to see All the final right, spread. Here is the finished spread. I really, really love how this turned out. I feel like the matte bronze solid underlays were just like the perfect move to replicate sand and not take away from any of the colors in this spread. Um, yeah, but in the sparkly orange was just so fun. So that is this week. It was a lot of packing and doing self care things because this is still my summer break. So yeah, that is it for this week. There's so many cute full boxes. I just did all full boxes and yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye everyone.